Imagine building AI agents that seamlessly share tools like Gmail across dozens of workflows, adapt to API changes without breaking, and scale effortlessly as your automation needs grow. That's the power of MCP, the model context protocol. In the next 16 minutes, we're diving deep into MCP using a practical Gmail automation example in N8, man. You'll learn exactly what MCP is, why it's transforming AI-driven workflows, how it works under the hood, when to use it, and how to troubleshoot common issues. Whether you're new to automation or a seasoned pro, this guy will equip you to build workflows that work smarter. Let's get started. If you're new to N8 NAN, it's a no-code platform for automating workflows, letting you connect apps like Gmail, Slack, or AI models with drag and drop ease. An AI agent is a smart module within N8 NAT uses a large language model, like OpenAI's GPT, to process inputs and execute tasks, think drafting emails or organizing your inbox based on natural language instructions. MCP supercharges these agents by providing a centralized, reusable toolset, making your workflows more flexible and maintainable. To understand how, let's start with a simple scenario and see where MCP fits in. Consider an AI agent you've built in N8N to manage customer support emails. It uses GP to generate polite replies and performs actions like sending emails, reading unread messages, labeling threads, and archiving spam. You've connected Gmail nodes directly to the agent, passing inputs like recipient addresses or email boxes. Bodies. This setup works great for a single workflow, it's straightforward and fast. But as your automation needs grow, this approach hits a wall. MCP, or Model Context Protocol, solves this by acting as a dynamic tool repository, allowing your agent to access Gmail actions from a centralized server rather than hard coding them into every workflow. This makes your automation scalable and easier to update. Let's explore the problem that MCP addresses. Suppose you expand to five workflows, one for customer support, another for marketing campaigns, a third for sales follow-ups, a fourth for internal notifications, and a fifth for personal inbox management. Each relies on the same Gmail action send, read, label, archive. Now, imagine Google updates their Gmail API tie, changing how authentication works or, or adding a new parameter for email attachments. You'd need to manually update every Gmail node across all five workflows, a tedious, error-prone process that could take hours. Worse, a single mistake could break a critical automation. This is the hard coding trap. It's manageable for small setups, but becomes a maintenance nightmare as you scale. Instead of embedding these actions in each workflow, your AI agent queries the MCP server in real time, retrieving a list of available tools and their specifications like required parameters or authentication details. When you need to update a tool, you modify the server once and all workflows instantly inherit the change. It's like maintaining a single toolbox that every agent can borrow from, rather than crafting custom tools for each job. This approach saves time, reduces errors, and enables seamless scaling. Let's break down the architecture behind this magic. MCP's architecture consists of three components. The MCP host is N8 in itself, where your AI agent resides, processing inputs and making decisions. The MCP client is a specialized node N8 that connects your agent to the MCP server, fetching tool definitions via an HTTP request. The MCP server is the heart of the system, a standalone service hosting a JSON. When the agent receives a task, the client queries the server, retrieves the toolset and passes it to the limb, which selects and executes the appropriate action. This modular design ensures flexibility and reusability across workflows. For example, you'd specify a send email tool with parameters like to email address, subject, and body, and link it to Gmail's API via OAuth2 credentials. The MCP client tool node connects your AI agent to this endpoint, fetching the tool list dynamically. To set up, create the server trigger, add your Gmail tools, and note the endpoint URL. Then in your workflow, add the client tool, input the endpoint, and connect it to your AI agent node. This setup lets your agent access Gmail actions without hard coding like plugging into a universal power grid. Let's see it in action. Time for a live demo. I'll instruct our AI agent, send an email to Alex with the subject demo done and the message we just finished recording the MCP video. Here's the flow. The agent checks its conversation memory for context, sends the instruction to the GPT model, which determines the send underscore email tool is needed. The MCP client queries the server, retrieves the tool's parameters, and executes the action through Gmail's API. The email is sent and the agent logs the result in its memory. MCP isn't always the best fit. For a single workflow with one Gmail action, like sending a daily report, hard coding a Gmail node is simpler and faster, avoiding the setup over
overhead and slight latency, typically 100 to 200 milliseconds of client-server communication. To illustrate, consider this comparison. MCP excels in scalability and maintenance, scoring 9 out of 10 for handling multiple workflows, but requires more initial setup, 8 out of 10. Hard coding is quick to set up, 4 out of 10, but scores poorly for scalability and maintenance, 3 out of 10. MCP shines when you're managing multiple workflows or frequent API updates. Let's explore its real-world applications. MCP is ideal for specific scenarios. First, tool reuse across workflows. If your Gmail actions are used in customer support, marketing, and CPerflim, MCP lets you define them once on the server for universal access, saving setup time. Second, centralized maintenance. When Google updates its API, you tweak the MCP server's tool definitions once, and all workflows stay current no node-by-node -node edits. A real-world example, a startup uses MCP to manage Gmail and Calendly tools across 10 and 8 and workflows for client onboarding. When Calendly changed its API, they updated one server endpoint in 15 minutes, keeping all workflows online. MCP also supports external integrations, letting you serve tools to apps like a custom React frontend or cursor via the server's API. Let's look at how to optimize your MCP setup. To make your MCP setup robust, follow these best practices. Organize by domain, create separate servers for Gmail or Slack and Notion tools to keep configurations modular and easier to debug. For example, a Gmail server might host five tools, send, read, label, archive, draft, while a Slack server handles messaging and channel updates. Each agent at five to 10 tools to prevent own confusion or performance lag. For complex tasks, use a master agent to delegate to specialized sub-agents. Prioritize security, protect your MCP server with API keys, or OEth2 authentication and host it behind a firewall or VPSing to publish to block unauthorized access. For instance, in N8N, you can add a header like XAPI key, your secret key to the server trigger. Monitor performance, log response times, and error rates to catch bottlenecks early. Let's wrap up. That's MCP, the ultimate protocol for building scalable, maintainable AI-driven workflows in N8N. Ready to try it? The description has a step-by-step -step guide to set up your own Gmail MCP. CP server, complete with sample tool definitions. Your challenge, build it and share a screenshot in the comments or on X with MCP challenge. I'll feature the best ones in my next video. Want to see MCP with Slack or Notion next? Let me know in the comments. If this deep dive skirked ideas, hit subscribe and tap the bell for more workflows that work smarter. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.